all right students let's go ahead and now do the next chapter the next chapter is inspection search seizure and arrest everyone over here we started learning gst with assessment assessment may you have scrutiny of return in scrutiny of return if the officer has scrutinized and he found some discrepancy he will tell you you accept pay chapter close you don't go ahead and pay it you explain you explain he likes it chapter close he doesn't like it he will go ahead and do audit special audit or he can do inspection see sir caesar and also he can go ahead and arrest you if at the time of seizure etc arrest uh, inspection search seizure etc he has gone ahead and seen that the evasion etc is more than 2 crore rupees you can also be arrested this we are not talking now we are talking this we are going to talk now inspection search seizure and arrest everyone inspection search seizure will be learning section number 67 Six, in, inspection search and seizure 68 inspection of goods in transit 69 arrest 70 is summon 71 is sir access to premises and 72 is other officers to assist the proper officer in implementation of the gst car law basically everyone section number 67 subsection 1 goes ahead and says inspection if proper officer greater than equal to joint commissioner has reason to believe what are the reason he can have a taxable person has suppressed transaction relating to supply or stock you have suppressed your transaction relating to supply or tax or stock you claimed itc in excess of his entitlement you have indulged in contravention of the act or rules in order to evade tax then or if a transporter, owner, operator of warehouse or a go-down or any other place is keeping tax and paid goods or kept wrong accounts to evade tax, then proper officer greater than equal to joint commissioner will authorize, may authorize in GST INS01 whom any officer might be subordinate to go and inspect the place of business of taxable person, transporter, owner, operator of warehouse, go down or any other place right everyone so first of all who can go ahead and direct an inspection proper officer greater than equal to joint commissioner what are the reason everyone reason is when taxable person has suppressed the tra transaction relating to stock or sales basically supply claims itc in excess of his entitlement indulge in contravention of actor rules in order to evade tax then the taxable person ka inspection can be done or any other play uh, transporter owner operator of warehouse or any other place basically they are going ahead and keeping tax and paid goods or kept wrong accounts and they are also doing it to evade tax then proper officer greater than equal to joint commissioner can go ahead and order for inspection now after the inspection is done if pursuant to inspection or might be any other intelligence information is received and the officer greater than equal to joint commissioner has reason to believe that there are goods in your premises basically which are liable to be confiscated or documents books things are relevant for proceeding and they are being hidden then he will go ahead prepare one search team send it to your place search and seizure will be done where they will go ahead and conduct the search and seizure find out documents books things goods goods which are liable for confiscation documents books and things which can be used against you for a proceeding they will take it along with them basically proper officer or officer authorized shall make an order of seizure in gst ina 02 take the goods along with them document books and things also along with them they will use it and pass a show cause notice against you and then a demand order proviso says if it is not practicable for them to take all the goods and go they will go ahead put one seal around and say this is your order of prohibition you can't go ahead and deal with these goods are we clear order not to remove or deal with the goods except with the permission gst ina 01 order of prohibition will be given then section number 63 67 subsection 3 says sir if they have gone ahead and taken some documents along with them documents books things shall be returned after examination or inquiry if documents books things are relied upon they will use it for issuing a notice if it is not relied upon they will return within 30 days Section number 67 4 talks about the powers of the officer during a search and season activity. Proper officer has the power to seal the premises, seal anything, or break open the door, or almina, or almira, or electronic device, or boxes, or receptacle in which books, accounts, documents are suspected to be concealed and access is denied. 
If you deny the access, they will go ahead and break open everything and take out those goods, document things which they think are hidden inside. Section number 67, 5 goes ahead and talks about if you want photocopies or extract, they will go ahead and allow it to you. Officer will go ahead and allow, but officer may allow if you feel that it is prejudicial to the revenue interest then he will not go ahead and allow you then section number 67 7, 67 subsection 6 says that provisional release of seized goods upon execution of bond in gst ins01 plus a security which is bank guarantee bank guarantee should cover tax interest and penalty sir i don't want to give a bond and bank guarantee then make the payment of the tax interest penalty we will release the goods Section number 67, subsection 6 goes ahead and says, confiscation proceeding, that is, show cause notice for confiscation. See, Caesar is taking possession. Now, they want to take over ownership also. For taking over the ownership, they will release the confiscation ka notice within how much time? Six months plus six months of the or date of Caesar. Otherwise, goods shall be returned to you. Section number 67, 8 says, perishable or hazardous goods or goods which are basically depreciating or storage constraint is there then department ka officer will say perishable goods hazardous goods all these depreciating goods ka case may we will go ahead and sell it off if you want you can pay us the market price of the goods or things or the tax interest penalty whichever is lower and will release the goods to you if you don't go ahead if the taxable person does not go ahead and pay the tax interest penalty etc they will go ahead and dispose the goods or things and the amount realized shall be adjusted towards tax interest penalty or any other amount might be any transportation charges storage charges etc is there they will deduct that also from that amount section number 67 9 goes ahead and says whoever is the officer who is seizing the goods and taking along with them documents books etc seizing the goods document books things etc they will prepare one inventory of the seized goods comma document books and things and get it signed by that person it's called a pansnama or a mahazar basically they will tell you sir see these are the docu books doc uh, goods uh, things we are taking along please sign it they will get it signed from you right everyone then we have section number 67 67 is done section number 67 inspection section number 67 1 inspection section number 67 2 search and seizure section number 67 3 document books thing not relied should be re returned within 30 30 days section number 67 4 Break open if you don't go ahead and allow them. Permission is not if you don't give the keys, etc. They will break open. Section number 67, 5, photocopies. Section number 67, 6, provisional release. Section number 67, 7, confiscation notice. Section number 67, 8, sir, payable hazardous goods, lower of the market price or tax interest penalty. You pay and it will be released. Section number 67, 9. Sir, inventory will be prepared. Section number 67, 9, inventory will be prepared by the seizing officer. Section number 67, done. Section number 67 has some other subsections also. Please read from the textbook. Section number 68, goods in transit. When the goods you are taking the goods, basically it's talking about the eBay bill wala chapter. Section number 68, inspection of conveyance or car conveyance carrying goods greater than 50,000 person in charge shall produce documents and devices at the time of in introspection basically when they will go ahead and stop you you will have to go ahead and show them the documents if any mismatch is there detention and seizure under section number 129 confiscation under section number 130 if all documents are found in order no issues at all you can go right everyone section number 69 goes ahead and talks about arrest Commissioner has reason to believe that person has gone ahead and committed those offenses which are told under section number 132, 1 A, B, C, D. 1 A says supply without invoice, B talks about bogus invoice, invoice without supply basically is a bogus invoice or ITC availed using such bogus invoice or bill or ITC without having any invoice or bill or amount collected as tax has not been deposited greater than Three months from the due date. Basically, what are the four offenses? Section number 132, one says supply without invoice, invoice without supply, uh, then ITC availed on the basis of bogus invoice or bill or ITC without invoice or bill or amount collected as tax has not been paid to the government greater than three months and the amount involved is two, two crores. Or if you have gone ahead and done these offenses repeatedly, repeated offense, any amount, then commissioner may authorize any officer of the central tax to arrest the person. So if you have gone ahead and done these four offenses plus the amount is 2 crore, 
amount is 2 crore or greater than 2 crore, sorry, amount is greater than 2 crore, then you will be arrested or 4 offenses, subsequently any amount you will be arrested, right everyone, always remember one thing, whenever you are arrested, arrest are of two types, one is cognizable and non-bailable, cognizable and non-bailable is only when the amount of the offense, these 4 offenses plus the amount is greater than 5 crore, then it is cognizable and Non-bailable. Cognizable means severe offense. Non-bailable means the arresting officer will not go ahead and tell you the bail, bail amount. You will be pre presented before the magistrate and ma within how much time? 24 and 24 hours and magistrate will decide whether to give you bail or send you to jail. Then we have non-cognizable and bailable. What is non-cognizable? Non-severe offense are bailable offenses wherein basically the AC or DC the assistant commissioner or deputy commissioner will go ahead and decide the bail amount. Basically, presenting before the magistrate is not, re not required. Here, the assistant commissioner or deputy commissioner shall have the same power as that of a officer in charge of a police station. Right, everyone? All the arrests which are made are to be made as per the code of criminal procedure. Section number 70 goes ahead and says, proper officer can call anyone, hey, come, I need evidences. So, evidence ke liye, he can go ahead and summon any person to give evidence, documents, things in an inquiry. Then we have section number 71. Basically, section number 71 goes ahead and tells, all these audit parties, department ka audit ka person will come, inspection ke liye people will come, they can come inside your premises and they will have access to your business premises without any search warrant. They can come to your premises basically for inspection, checks, etc. Right, everyone? Now, whenever section number 71 says access to business premises, so whenever officer will come to your premises, please allow him inside the premises. Don't leave your dog, uh, dog over here saying, please run behind him. No, 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 no. Always he will have access to your business premises. Officer authorized by the proper officer greater than equal to joint commissioner shall have access to inspect. So, supposingly one officer has come to a premises with an INS 01, he will have the authority to check what? Inspect accounts, documents, computer, computer program, computer software and, and such other things as he may require and available at such place for the purpose of audit, scrutiny, verification and check. So, whenever an officer is coming to a premises, don't tell him get lost, get a search warrant. Without a search warrant also, he has the authority to go ahead and do all the checks, scrutiny, uh, verification, etc. Right, everyone? And if person in charge on demand by the proper officer or audit party or the chartered accountant, cost accountant, you have to make available record as prepared and maintained. Trial balance, annual audited financial, cost audit report, income tax audit report, if any, and any other relevant record within how many days? 15 days of demand. Are we clear? If any other records are being demanded by him, you have to go ahead and give it to him within 15 working days. Now, section number 72, officers to assist the proper officer. Whenever one proper officer will come to a premises, might be for an inspection, he is little scared, so he can get the police department ka officer. All other department ka officers have to help the proper officer in carrying out the provisions of the law, basically. In proper implementation of the law, all other officers like Sir, officers of police, railway officer, custom officer, land revenue collection officer, village officer, SGST officer or notified class of officer, officers shall assist the proper officer in implementation of this act. All other officers will have to go ahead and help the officer whenever he wants to implement the provisions, basically whenever he wants to implement the act or rules. One question which can come in the exam is, what are the principles or requirement during the search operation? Whenever they come for a search, what are the principles or uh, basically requirements. Number one, they should come with a valid search warrant. There should be a lady officer accompanying. Whenever they come for a search, they should get the search warrant signed by you. Then search should be in the presence of two independent witnesses. Before search, they should disclose their identity card. Valid search warrant should be there. Search warrant should be executed. Lady officer should be there. Search should be in the presence of two independent witness. Before starting, they should disclose the ID card, when they are going ahead and doing the search, they should take care that religious sentiments are being taken care. When they are doing the search, they should take care that kids who are there are going to school. Bags, you check it and send them to school. Are we clear? When you are doing the search, COVID is going on, little bit sanitize, etc. You should do all these things with general protocols which are there. Right, everyone? And also after the search gets over, a Mahazar or a Pansnama should be prepared which is signed by whom? Independent witnesses and also by the person in charge or the owner. 
right everyone inspection search and seizure is a c graded topic but still i feel they can ask you who can go ahead and order inspection proper officer greater than equal to joint commissioner they can ask you what are the reason inspection can happen they can go ahead and tell you what are the powers of the officer during a inspection a search and seizure activity what how can provisional release of goods be done sir they can also go and ask you about the treatment of perishable and hazardous goods they can ask you a short note on access to business premises they can ask you a principle or requirement during search operation and also they can ask you about the officer's power to arrest right everyone here i will go ahead and close my c graded topic which is basically inspection search and seizure congratulations people